Hi guys. Don't, don't, hold on. Hold on. Yes, so as I was saying, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Zoisha. If you are new here, subscribes. Subscribes to my human true. If you are a returning resident, hello and welcome back. By the title, you obviously know what we are here today for y'all. Um, I was bullied into hosting another event. Hello? I was bullied into hosting another event, but I don't mind this one because I love Thanksgiving. Like, I love Christmas, but I love Thanksgiving. Okay, because it's basically the same thing, just no gifts involved. You get what I mean? Yeah, so it is October the 7th. We are in October. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And here in Canada, we celebrate our Thanksgivings in October. So I believe it is the, I don't know if it always falls on the same day, but it's on a Monday and I think it's usually like the, the second Monday in October. Yeah, because it's the 14th this year. So I will be hosting, well, okay. So initially, I wanted to just have a Friendsgiving and just host my girlfriends and the girls in my family. Um, however, after I sent out the invitation, like, I thought about it. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to cook all of this food for the Sunday. And then what am I supposed to do with my man? Am I supposed to cook again? Even though he's cooking? So I'm going to make him cook again? So I was like, you know what, scratch it. Um, I'm just gonna host my family. <laughs> and a close, um, well, my close friends are family, so I'm just gonna host my family and um, yeah, call it a day. So that's what we're currently doing. But I'm gonna have a girls' night because the ideas that I had for the girls' night, y'all, well, the friends given for the girls was so freaking cute, and I'm not gonna waste that. I those ideas I'm gonna have to do them again at another time and date so that's fine but anyways for friends and family given um, it's gonna be this su this Sunday the 13th um, and yeah I have a lot to do it's Monday and that leaves me seven days and um, or six days and y'all I have so much things to do so currently right now I'm looking through my balloons to see what I have because I need to decorate um, I already placed an order on Timu for some of the stuff that I need for the tablescape I need to kind of take a look and see what I have here already so I'm not over buying because I feel like I always end up doing that for every time that I have something I always end up over buying and I have the stuff that I actually need but yeah I, just, I need to organize my craft stuff and event stuff properly so that it's so much easier for me to find things but anyways um yeah i have a backdrop stand that i'm gonna use so i already know that much um it's just a matter of whatchamacallit looking and seeing what balloons i have so i know what balloons i need to order if i need to order any um i also need to um confirm the menu with hubby just to make sure we're both on board in regards to what it is that we're going to make um and then get the rest of the ingredients i already got my turkey i got my ham this weekend so i'm excited about those two things like those are the most important things i got those out of the way it cost me a hundred and one dollar but got it out the way um and then what else do i need to do figure out some games because obviously it games have to be like the vibes have to be included we're not just gonna go there eat look at each other's face and leave no we we have to have some games some some conversations like some yeah and it's adults only no kids sorry to my kiddies i love y'all so much but every event is not for y'all that's what family fun day is for okay um yeah so that's currently what i'm doing i have this suitcase that has been there. I also have this bag that I rattled that has 
um, balloons in there. And then this garbage bag of balloons. So my colors are like reds, browns, yellows, yellows, reds, browns, yellows, gold, nude. Yeah. So let me see what I have. I pray of God. And I bet you these are not even on my balloon because y'all, after my events, like, I don't normally have the time to just sit down and really truly put things back to where they need to go. It's just all mumbo jumbo. One time I did sit down and actually like organize the bags by like color scheme-ish. Um, but again, that was very short. So I blew up some. This kind of is giving pink. I thought it was giving more of like a burgundy, but I think it can work. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna use this for sure, this for sure, this for sure. I have the gold here. And then I think I just need like the orange. I want an orange to tie everything all in. So I think I just need to order some orange. Talking that I don't have orange. Coming on some have orange. Trying to think if I never did orange for a party before. It's crazy to me. But anyways, that's it for that. I don't think there's gonna be much that I'm gonna be doing today. I'll probably be really and truly get into everything tomorrow because I'm currently trying to finish my Halloween baskets. I'm about to go do that and go in the kitchen and make my breakfast for tomorrow so I will catch you guys tomorrow we'll see what we get into then y'all <laughs> oh it's Tuesday we are Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday so five days away from my Thanksgiving dinner um i did some shopping today to pick up some things to get ready so i thought why not come and show you guys a haul of the things that i am starting to get um actually let me start from yesterday y'all yesterday this has nothing to do with thanksgiving but yesterday i made banana porridge for the first time yeah i'm not a, i've never made porridge y'all so i made porridge first and foremost for the first time but i made banana porridge for the first time only one person ever in life could ever make me um banana porridge and i would eat it but my banana porridge was actually pretty good like even babe was like mm, this this good like the only thing we were missing was some um water crackers or some hard or bread that's about it but yeah anyways so for spring rolls i decided i'm gonna do kalaloo so these were on sale um at this asian market that i went to unfortunately the man them we usually come from the farm and we usually sit on the road we sell out of them van i have not um seen them making sure this is not on slow-mo but yeah i haven't seen them because it's cold now here so Ain't nobody coming down anymore. I seen them a few weeks ago, but he sold out of the calado and he only had spinach. I mean kale and um 
scotch bonnet so never getting a color low but got these in the tin i think i can't even remember how much these were but these were a good decent price so i picked up these so i'm gonna do color low and then i thought about it i think i'm gonna try like a um like a bully beef make sure i don't know if i want to do bully beef and cabbage or bully beef cabbage and corn or bully beef and corn but i think the bully beef with the spring roll wrap will taste pretty good so i think uh, those are the two that i'm going to do babe still really wants to do the aki like y'all there's something about the aki one it's not one of my favorites like after trying the kalalu in terms of vegetable aki's a fruit but you know what i mean um kalalu would have been my favorite one um along with the curry goat and the jerk chicken like the jerk chicken oh my god it was so good so anyways that's what i'm gonna do for that because i was thinking about doing i might do oxtail ones i'm not 100 percent sure don't quote me on it but yeah fingers crossed babe really wants to take this he enjoys doing the spring roll thing so i told him to add it on to um his yard spice dishes that he does or added to like the list of things that we can do in terms of catering and stuff like that. If you guys are in Toronto and you guys want to try Babe's food, like you guys can buy one of his plates. Just follow his page if he still has it. Yeah, I don't know, Joel. When it comes to social media, one minute he's on it, next minute he um, deletes everything, and then he'll come back and he has to build a brand new one because he's a man who doesn't remember passwords. So that's that. But yeah. <laughs> um follow his page or reach out to me and yeah just look up for the menus of the weeks and um order and support him that way okay okay <laughs> the first thing i'm gonna show you guys that i'm so excited about is my white pumpkin so i got this pumpkin with the intention that i'm gonna use it as the centerpiece on the dinner table um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut it out take out the inside and use it to um like add like the flowers in and all of that kind of stuff so i don't remember what i was in the store trying to figure out what i was going to do for the centerpiece and then it came to my mind and it was like use the pumpkin as a vase and i was like okay but i was going to use like a styrofoam um pumpkin until i was going to the grocery store and i seen the white pumpkins the big white pumpkins out now this is not as big as like the orange ones that i have been seeing but i think it will be big enough um for the table as a centerpiece and i just think like the fact that it's natural and it's a pumpkin it's given thanksgiving it's giving the girls fall it's giving cutesy so i gotta wash this off cut it out yeah take out the inside and then go ahead and start making it i tried to find one that would sit up as best as possible but yeah it's whatever i'm gonna make it work but i love her i love you okay um all right next i got these bags so that when we're seasoning up the chicken we can put them in here in the freezer um i think i'll talk to you guys about the menu after but um yeah, I think I figured out exactly what it is that we're going to serve. So yeah. Um, I bought this from the dollar store to cut out, to carve out the pumpkin. Oh, this comes with stencils too. That's cool. I don't need that. Um, I got potatoes. I'm going to need some potatoes um, for, for a side or two. I that and I don't want to be using my own stuff because I need my own stuff. I got a butternut squash because there's this appetizer that I want to make that calls for this. So got one of these. It's gonna be my first time working with a butternut squash, but <laughs> I've been working with squash a lot lately, okay? Then boy and on a cash. Hey! <laughs> boy, that my laps. Spread the word. Top shutters is back. Big breeze. Man, they let them down near the six reeds. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. I bought stuff 
stuffing in a box. Y'all, if you guys have any good stuffing recipes, because I feel like my American followers, um, I feel like you guys take Thanksgiving a lot more cereal than any other part of the world if they celebrate. <clears throat> so if you guys have any stuffing recipes, let me know. Because, yeah, I want to step up my stuff and not really use too much. I'm not really an out of the box girl, but I'm not really a Nara Smith girl neither. Neither. You know what I'm saying? Summer in Adamigo. In Adamigo, in Adamigo. Uh, uh, eh, eh. <laughs> like why is there why is there a line for every like why is there a song for everything anyways um i'm gonna be making a thanksgiving i did it before um for thanksgiving 2022 when it was babe's first thanksgiving i did like the um it looks like a turkey kind of charcuterie board. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I picked up some cold cuts, honey turkey, honey ham, and this is corned beef. So these are gonna be the three meats that I'm using. I don't think there's, well, turkey's there for people that don't eat pork. Um, I got two cans of turkey gravy. And I think I'm gonna get, I was trying to find the one that, I normally use the one that's in the package, but I don't know. But these ones were only 25 cents, y'all. There was no way I was gonna pass up on it. 25 cents, and I thought it expired in 2025, but it expires August 19, 2026, so. 25 cents, yes baby, 50 cents, start the car. Some pineapples for my ham. Ah, cranberry sauce, I, get, I love this one. I love these ones, like the whole berry, I love those ones. And then I got the jelly one so people can slice that one if they like that one. <clears throat> the Melba toast, this is for the squash thingy And then I picked up the dinner plates. So these gold rimmed dinner plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. And that is, oh man, I left the freaking board downstairs. And I brought a poster board to make my welcome sign. And I got KFC for dinner. So yeah, that's what I hauled today. Um, I have to finish up my little Halloween baskets and then I'm gonna really and truly get started. I don't think I'm gonna carve the pumpkin just yet. I might do the pumpkin tomorrow. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna get started on. I did find the balloon color orange that I want to work with, so I gotta order those and then probably pick it up. I don't know when, but I'll pick it up sometime. Or I'll ask my friend to pick it up for me because she's in that area. And then I'll just grab it from her sometime. Yeah, before whatever. Because I really and truly don't need the balloons until about Saturday. Like I can wake up Saturday and I can create the balloon garland, like where the the event is gonna be is like walking distance from me thankfully so um it's not gonna take anything i'm just gonna pre blow up literally everything because i'm only giving myself 30 minutes to do the decor and then after that i'm gonna be setting up the food luckily thanksgiving is more of like a laid back type of event even though i still want it to be you know what i mean but the food has to be warmed up some stuff we have to cook while we're there um, so it will give me the, the time to still have conversation while preparing stuff and then probably I'll have more hands that'll be there as well that can help me out to um, pick up things a little bit more faster so yeah I think I need one more pack of these yeah cuz I'm only yeah six more of these and then I have some plates like some regular paper plates left from although i think i'm just gonna pick up the thanksgiving um themed ones instead of using those but i'll bring those still in case people want to take food home because those are a little thicker material so i think i'm good with that i did want to try to find some gold cutlery though that is what i'm currently on the hunt for i don't know why it's like so I want to try to find some in Canada instead of ordering it online and see if I can pick it up after work or something. One of these days. And yeah, Party City is just going to be a little bit too expensive for me. So I'm going to that. But there's some other decor companies and stuff like that that I'm pretty sure I can get stuff from. So we 
we shall see but yeah things are happening i'm super excited um okay so for the menu hold on let me get my paper hi okay so for the menu what i think we're going to be serving what i have down the for the main like dinner portion the turkey the ham for rice we're gonna have pumpkin rice to be on theme baby you gotta be on theme we have rice and peas every sunday white rice sometime throughout the week pumpkin rice okay and i love pumpkin rice um big up oman i need to figure out some sort of a vegan option so i'm thinking some sort of tofu which um babe did make for our anniversary party for my niece he made some like pineapple something something with tofu so I, she really loved it like she ended up taking all of it home because she was the only one that was vegan um so i think i'm gonna have him make that again um because there's also some vegetarian people there as well so yeah i think i'm gonna do that so i need tofu um and then we're just gonna have like a regular green salad with like peppers um tomatoes cucumber all of that stuff i'm gonna make a macaroni pie i'm gonna make a potato salad i was thinking um macaroni salad as well but that's just too much pastas so um potato salad macaroni pie and what else did i say on the side festival and chow mein oh yeah chow mein festival and chow mein and i'm gonna do one just regular chow mein and then i'm gonna have one with shrimp in it i think i'm, I'm gonna see how much the shrimps is and then i'll see if not we're just gonna have a nice bowl of a nice tray of chow, chow mein um okay so yeah so again for the for the main sorry oh sorry sorry let's do this properly okay i should have had it categorized properly but anyways for the main dishes turkey ham jerk chicken which we're gonna grill when we get to the venue fried chicken maybe maybe not lemon pepper wings fried fish fillets um and curry goat okay okay and even some of the the jerk chicken it might be barbecue chicken as well so hmm Maybe I should just do jerk and bar barbecue and then do the lemon pepper wings instead of jerk chicken and fried chicken because y'all, babe's fried chicken. Yum, 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 delicious. Here and no. Here and here and here. So how's that my problem? Shit, you remind me like your eyes, you know. How would I know? This half, bro. No. I want to kiss up on camera. I was just telling the people them the menu. Oh, sorry, yeah, you're not telling me you're not cook. Okay, so now you're here. Just That's perfect. Oh, good thing you said me. I get hockey now. Me feel like more eat hockey too for myself. Oh, well, you cook it. You know, I cook it. Now I can eat banana. I feel banana do. You know, I use my own. At least you can eat it. Cause banana soft. No, man, I go buy more banana than that. Let me see. I take the care. Okay, so for the menu. For the main dishes, okay, I, that's this is what I was just telling them. I'm not sure what makes what makes more sense because everybody that eats your fried chicken loves your fried chicken. So I'm like, fried chicken of some sort has to be on the menu, right? Uh, fried wings. But that's all right. So here one out. So that just that just confirmed it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, because I had turkey, ham, um, jerk chicken fried chicken and lemon pepper wings and curry goat right but then i was like if you're gonna use the grill we can do some jerk some barbecue and then just do the fried wings and you get all the everything yeah you get everything in yeah okay so yeah so yeah 
legs. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they're on sale. Oh, that makes sense. So I just said might as well. They get played too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really want to do? Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Let me. Let me, let me, let me tell. I was thinking, why don't we do bully beef? Because I'm thinking of things that you like to eat, like that we would, that we like to eat with fried no, dumplings. Fried dumplings. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so so I was good. thinking, fri I was thinking bully beef. Everybody ever like that. I never have it yet. Right, so I was thinking either bully beef and cabbage or bully beef and corn. The corn with the bully beef? Okay, so yeah, let's do that. That would be nice. You think so? What else did we use in the kalalu last time? No, it was kalalu. You mixed other stuff in there. Bok choy. Yeah, but I love that mix though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I like I like that mix. Okay, so yeah guys, alright, so finalize the turkey, the ham. Jerk chicken, barbecue chicken, fried wings, fried fish yeah, fillet. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I can easily get that. That's fine. And curry goats. Yeah. And then, babe, that can buy any day. Okay, bye, babe. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> Call, call you how? <laughs> um, what you call it? Yeah. So the vegan option, the and then for the sides, salad, macaroni pie, potato salad. We're gonna. I'm gonna do my garlic, um, garlic butter buns. Oh no, garlic parm. I'm gonna try to get some Parmesan cheese. Garlic parm. Mm -hmm. Butter buns, and. Festival. Mm -hmm. And festival. Mm -hmm. People and and uh, the, the, the pumpkin rice. People. If you've never come. Well, I'll come. Well, I'll come. But if you never come in a real life, like, I'm so sorry. But, like, the food, bussing. Like, bussing. All right. And then for the appetizers, the little um, Melba toast that you guys see me have and the um, the squash. I wanna make a fall bruschetta. I seen it on Pinterest. So I need the, I also need, I'm gonna see if I can get some French bread. So the squash, oh, I need apples. I need apples. I kept looking at the apples and I'm like, what do I need apples for other than the turkey? What do I need apples for? Cause usually I just get one big apple for the turkey and just stick it in there. But I need apples for this thing. Cause I was like, just the squash alone? Excuse me, so I need apples. Luckily I had bought nutmeg yesterday to make the, the, the porridge. Cinnamon, ricotta cheese, and balsamic glaze. It's gonna be sweet and yeah, I'm excited for that. And then, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I gotta go back and buy more of the turkey. Well. I don't think I'm gonna do the turkey sliders because basically it's just bread, turkey meat, and cranberry sauce with cheese. And I'm kind of like, we're gonna have cheese in the macaroni pie. We're gonna have cranberry sauce to go with the turkey. We're gonna have actual turkey and there's gonna be buns. So why am I doing it two times? You get what I mean? So yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, the spring rolls, aki, the, the um, bully beef, and maybe oxtail, but Aki and Bully Beef I think will be fine. The charcuterie board, and there's these Thanksgiving deviled eggs that I've seen that I think I might wanna do. Um, I gotta go back and look at it, but if not, just the charcuterie board, the spring rolls, and the fall bruschetta as appetizers, I think that's fine because majority of the people them not come till the food done, till the food like 
till it's dinner 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 time anyways so yeah the mag really did if he enjoyed appetizers so it's basically just like first come first serve i might just do like two dozen at each and call it a day you get what i'm saying just little little but we have to be fancy oh, I'm so excited! okay so yeah so that's it for the menu um i'm basically catering for 30 people i am counting 20 in my head because i you know how people drop out right so i'm counting 20 in my head um and yeah this was my shopping list i just basically go through the flyers of everything of all the stores that i usually shop at and see what's on sale and just make a list and go off of that and then i just wind down and i see who has what at the best price and go there and get what i can possibly get so i basically scratched off a lot of the things that i need um off this list the most things that we need to get are like the meat stuff so the chicken the goat the bully beef somebody has it on sale no frills has it on sale so i can pick it up tomorrow because the sale ends tomorrow um yeah the book the, the the chicken the wings the goat um and yeah just little little things and some juice although i think i'm gonna make a punch i want to make a welcome drink um and then the rest of the stuff is just basically diys i have to make a welcome sign i want to make a menu um I don't know how i want to display the menu yet but i'm gonna make a menu just so you know what's there the balloons i have to press by um and then pick it up and um the welcome sign i have to make and um i think that's it <clears throat> i think that's it i don't think i have enough paper to make no water bottle label so i don't think i'm gonna be doing no extra it's like that um and then i need to get the cute little i just want to get some cute little cups because everybody love wasting that we're not wasting nothing and i have to get creative in regards to how i'm going to serve alcohol because we're not supposed to have alcohol they want you to pay for security and anybody got time for that so no um so yeah i have some pouches left over from fun day i think i'm going to make some cute little drinks in that for at least the girlies um and then i don't know I don't know how we're gonna conceal the the alcohol might just have to keep it like in the fridge or something and like pour it like from in the fridge and just call it a day but i'm excited and also get some water yeah but i'm excited i'm excited y'all i i love i love to host i love to spend my money on people and see them see their enjoyment like <laughs> you're enjoying what i so like i sleep so good at, at night i sleep so good at night and like just you know everybody um so this is coming up what are we doing like you guys are relying on me for your enjoyment <laughs> but yeah i am going to finish up my things if i start on anything tonight y'all i will come back and i will you know do it with y'all um yeah oh actually let me show you guys what i got for decor so the other day i went to dollar tree to get the rest of the stuff for my um halloween stuff and yeah so okay so i found this sign and i kind of like the color that it is now but it doesn't really match anything that i have so i think i want to paint it um like orange and brown or something and have this like on the table probably in front of the pumpkin maybe or somewhere somewhere maybe oh i'll have it on the food table probably like in front of the turkey or something like yeah 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 okay so i'm gonna paint that and then i bought all of these little sticks something something to go like in the centerpieces in the centerpiece y'all i love leaves like the girl at the cash register hated me oh she was just like oh my god like why did you have to come to me so girl you said you were open <laughs> said you were open and if i'm gonna dodge a line i'm gonna dodge a line so who looks so pretty on camera oh my gosh so i need to find a little bit of like maybe like some whites but i bought the i only bought one of these no oh, i know i could never be so crazy could not never be so crazy so i bought two of these um of two of them here these brown ones um i have 
three of them leaf one year. Two of them are the same and one different. Yeah. Sir, come out of my way now. Come out. Yeah, so these three leaves, these ones have these little bally things on them, and then let's have those. And then I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna split it in a two because I have my wire cutter then for cut it. And then I bought these two um glitter branches in this nice like orange bronzy. Well, this one had something come off already, but anyways, we move. But yeah. Can you imagine this in the pumpkin? Ah! Oh my gosh, okay. So yeah, I got those for the centerpiece. And I'm gonna look through the 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 the, the, the flowers that I have and the greenery that I have because I want to add some greenery in there as well. Anytime I'm using flowers, I have to add greenery. Greenery just the flowers is so nice. And then I found these candlestick holders at um Zoller, Zoller tree as well. So I got these candlestick holders for the tablescape. So I can use these on the table. The wall of my pants glitter up. Thank God it's not the jeans. Um, and then, um, as you guys would have seen in my 2022 vlog, I had everybody, I gave everybody these cards that I found at Dollar Tree that year. I mean, Dollarama that year. They're these I'm thankful for cards. So I got the leaves, because I love leaves. And I got the pumpkins as well. Um, for everybody to, I'm gonna give one to everybody. I don't know, maybe when they walk in. No, probably not when they walk in. I'm just gonna have a time when everybody writes down what they're thankful for and like we go around and express like really and truly what we are thankful for because to be making it to another Thanksgiving is something to be thankful for and to be able to have everybody in one roof safe and sound not ill or anything like that is something to be thankful for so i really want everybody to take that opportunity to remember like yo we made it to another thanksgiving like let's be thankful and not just here to laugh and whatever like yes that's great but at the end of the day like let's give thanks and be thankful <laughs> okay so yeah um so yeah i got those for that and i still have the, the ones from 2022 I, I i wonder if i asked people to write their names on it and i'm thinking if they did i, I want to bring them back just to reread like what they were thankful for then compared to now i think that would be so cool <laughs> cool or i'm just gonna keep it for souvenirs and just have it as remembrance like yeah like we were remember this year we were thankful that Anyways, my battery's gonna die. So I'm gonna make anything interesting more happen. Now call me, come back. You know what me I say. Later. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to, I was about to say Tuesday. Welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday, October the 9th. Yeah. Y'all, if you notice I'm not talking too much, it's because I'm having pain in my mouth. Like, my mouth is hurting me. It's killing me actually and because of the cold y'all it is cold i am in my onesie and i was just in a winter jacket it's freezing anyways i have another haul for y'all um let me start with this bag i'm only gonna show y'all what's pertaining to thanksgiving i bought this big bag of onions because we're gonna need we're gonna need it to season up stuff. They had this Jamaican pumpkin on sale for 49 cents a pound. This only cost me $5 for this whole big Jamaican pumpkin. Like y'all should have seen the sizes of some of them, but I think this whole one would be enough to make the pumpkin rice. So fingers crossed, but yeah, I got it for the, the pumpkin rice. That's for that bag. Um, I bought the bully beef for the spring rolls. Um, and then um, this was the turkey gravy thing that I was looking for. So I'm gonna use this and mix it in with the other one and make something. Yeah, come light that one here. 
I like the clubhouse one. I like the clubhouse one. And how much does this make? Oh, it says you only need a cup. So yeah, that's that. I picked up some goats, but I think I'm gonna need some more for sure. This is not gonna do. I think this is six pound, six pound of goats. And as I said, I am factoring it, like counting in 25. But again, um, it's supposed to be 30, but I'm factoring in 25. But you know, when you don't cut this up small, small, everybody gets a little one plate. Me, make sure to me share up the goats, you know, because everybody have to get at least one plate. And then after that, I'm going to do free for all. But um, Babe initially had told me to get like about six to eight pounds. So I think I'm just going to pick up um, maybe like three, three more. And that will have to do. So I can do that. And I did not do a great job in packing because, yeah. But anyways, I got some shrimp because I want to make some shrimp chow mein. Um, mm, 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 yeah, I've just been loving how I've been making my shrimp lately. <sighs> so good. Oh God, I got this um, vegetable mix for the potato salad. This one just has the corn, carrots, and peas. I got some apples because I'm gonna need some for my charcuterie board. I'm gonna need some, I should have picked up two bags of this actually. I'm gonna need some for either the punch or the welcome drink or both. And the turkey and my um, bruschetta thingy thing that I'm making. I should have picked up, I'm gonna need some more apples. And I picked up a package of carrots for my charcuterie board as well. That's our one bag. We have one more. Yeah, I'm gonna spend more. spend hundred dollars, you know. Inflation is so real. Bok choy to mix with the kalalu. It's gonna be different this time because we don't have no cabbage. I'm not saying but I have no cabbage, but okay, I'm gonna have such a nose with my cabbage. They wanted Aki, this has nothing to do with it, so never mind that. X out the cabinet at the Aki. Um, this spring mix I bought for the um, chow mein. Yeah, I bought for the chow mein. Um, I might need another bag. But yeah, I bought this for the chow mein. This one has the green beans in it as well. So, with the other trees. So, I'm gonna buy that. Peppers, salad. What else have I cooked with pepper? More peppers. Um, I bought chicken wings for the fried wings. And. Uh, Curry, the best. I usually go for the smaller packages, the, the smaller, smaller ones. I feel like those taste the best overall. And um, some salts and some tofu so that we can make um, this pineapple tofu thing for my niece because she's vegan. And I gotta cater to everybody. Okay, okay. And that's that for today's haul. Um, I wanted to start on the pumpkin, but I think I'm gonna do the pumpkin Friday. I just don't want to do it too far in advance and it quiet. You know what I mean? Or it's a track fly. You know what I mean? I wonder if you do it and then put it on the bottle and you make it keep cold or what, but yeah, I'm just no one wheat and then can't that. So yeah, what do I have to work on? I could do the welcome sign. I could okay, well I think I could go in and start designing the welcome sign. Although my computer is being used because I'm currently rendering the video to go up for tomorrow. So Yeah, I just went on the balcony and found a whole bunch of stuff. Um, baby sleeping right now, so maybe later on when he wakes up, I can do a haul with you guys in regards to what I found and what I can use. 
things for Thanksgiving. And yeah, I found a good amount of stuff outside actually, so there's not really much that I need to purchase. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like the shop is gonna start like when it's closer. It's only Wednesday. So, yeah. But um, I need to go in and look at my list, cross off what I got, what I still need, and make a whole new list. Tomorrow I'm going to have to look and see what's new in the stores. Or maybe I can look now and see what's going to be on sale this week and then just kind of get the rest of the stuff that I need. The only bigger thing that I need is the, um, the chicken. I'm just going to buy a box of chicken, we'll clean what we need, and save the rest and use it. So. A win is a win. A win is a win. But let me pack away these groceries and I'll come back when a little bit more is happening, y'all. It's cold and this is like killing my mood. Ugh. Selling fan, blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood, body giving center views. I'm just saying I'm a mute. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try too hard. Number one fan, your side your plot. Got me think about inside the walls. Words cut deep, it's like a swat. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With a big step of chasing a cheddar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi guys. So um I was here working on some stuff. Hold on. <laughs> I was here working um on a vlog and then I decided that I was just gonna start um probably cutting out the stuff for my welcome sign. So I was working on it yesterday and I know that I wanted to incorporate like some leaves. I was looking up some like Thanksgiving like sayings and stuff like that. And I came across gobble till you wobble. And I'm not like I am a corny, funny type person. So like I try to be on theme as much as possible. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like gobble till you wobble like Thanksgiving. Like we're surrounded by food. For first and foremost and like I feel like the amount of food that you eat like you're gonna end up wobbling you know what I mean so it was fitting so um I didn't want it to say like welcome to Thanksgiving dinner like that's just boring like you know what I mean so I think this is cute so I was trying to figure out all the wordings and stuff like that and this is the final thing that I came upon can you see it So welcome, if you came to gobble till you wobble, come on in, Thanksgiving 2024. That, yeah, that, and then I'm gonna put the, um, the stencil of the leaves on the side of the board, and then I'm gonna have the balloon garland coming on the easel. Ah! I'm so excited. So I got my white poster board out there. Um, I'm just currently trying to, um, whatchamacallit, see the size of everything and what I can basically cut out on regular paper. Um, so yeah. So I need brown, red, orange, and tan. <clears throat> So that's what I'm currently gonna do. Um, see what I can get done. Cause I just looked at the time and I was like, whoa, it's only nine o'clock. So I literally still have like an hour where I can work. So let me see what I can get through and I'll come back and we can do this together, y'all. It is Thursday, October the 10th. Um, my team of package is not coming, which means my center, my um, table runner and my napkins are not gonna get here on time. So I just messaged my, um, a vendor that I normally work with for my events to see if I could use um, the same style 
runner but just in a different color like the one that i wanted was let me actually show you guys the mock-up that i have for thanksgiving <clears throat> at least for the tablescape because yeah so let's go to good old canva and then i was trying to see if they if i could get it i could get something similar on amazon but do i want to spend a bag on not a bag but do i want to spend do like i do want to do the most but like you know so anyways um okay so this is my table let me see if i can get you guys closer y'all can see all right okay so this is my table let me bring her down a little bit yeah this is my table okay so um this is what 10 10 11 seats i don't know but i think based on the pictures that i've seen for the space there's a 10 seated table and it's a huge table and i'm still just debating whether or not i want to put the food on this table along with the tablescape or just have the food somewhere else and we just take the food from there and then yeah i'll figure it out the day of how i'm feeling but anyway so i have my pumpkin centerpiece in the center y'all and then i have the candlesticks that i showed you guys and i found some more that i have outside um, so I'll show you guys those afterwards. I have white pumpkins. I think I'm gonna get some of these But I also bought some like corn that are like in like a different Yeah, different kind of corn like decorative corn and I bought these um, like mini like pumpkin squashes like the ugly looking kinds That I'm gonna use to scatter across this as well right, so we have that and the ooh, ooh. um okay yeah so we have that and then this is how okay so this is originally the color this is the color of the um table runner that i got this is a cheesecloth table runner and i got it in orange like a burnt orange um so that was supposed to be the color that i wanted but the color that my lady has is tan and I still don't think that's gonna work. Like, I think I just might have to do satin and I don't wanna do satin, I really wanna do this. So we're just gonna have to figure it out and make it work. Um, the, this might blend, the, the centerpiece now might blend in with it, but again, we move, we just gotta make it work. Um, the charger plates that I have are not necessarily gold, but they're more like a rustic brownish and I actually like that better. So I'm going to use that and then the cream table runner, I'm going to get the matching tablecloths to go in the center with a leaf um, and I'm going to write like grateful, thankful, whatever stuff to do with Thanksgiving and that's going to be basically the setting, the table setting and um yeah that's it for that do i have anything else um okay yeah and then i gotta put the welcome sign here and then um that will be the welcome sign and then the next thing that i have to do is like a mock-up this is what my birthday looked like y'all <laughs> uh, like y'all i'm so mad i wish you guys got to see it this is what my birthday looked like minus the chains i bought the chains but i never ended up getting to have time to blow them up but i have the two zinc um sides the grass wall the balloon garland the barrel as the cake stand like y'all creativity at its finest i'm joking not at its finest but like yeah i did my thing for my party anyway i don't want to think about it because i'm so sad i'm doing it again <laughs> i'm doing it again but yeah so that's it basically what i have as the layout for things so i'm just gonna have to change this around and work around it and call it a day yeah so i'm gonna change the mock-up tomorrow just so everything can come to vision and come to life and then yeah but let me go ahead and work on this sign because time is going tomorrow is friday i have a funeral on saturday it's gonna take up most of my morning <clears throat> i need to do my hair and my even though i have until 
four o'clock Sunday, but I still gotta cook stuff, you know? So yeah, anxiety is kicking in. So let me start, I'll be back. Slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day, and when the sun sets, you asking me to come through, kick it with you. Night turn to morning, do then you. For a second, I forgot what I'm about to put this on, and I used the wrong tape. But here we go. Putting down my first leaf. Okay, I gotta be so careful taking this thing off. ones down yet because which part the next one go yeah no uh -uh. yeah so I have one more the browns I haven't cut out yet because oh this is gonna look so cute see this one leaf in two different colors well we move whatever anyways um I'm not gonna put on the other leaves until I have the other ones cut in the colors so that I don't mess up the spacing oh my god I'm so obsessed let me see what I can put if I can put on I've managed to cut out all of the welcome so I'm gonna do that and and then I have the thanks giving 2024 but that's at the end as well so let me try to do the welcome and I'll be back y'all I'm kind of sad my board is kind of ripping because of the transfer tape that I was using I'm gonna use my um, my other tape when I'm finishing it tomorrow and call it a day because I can't have anything else be ruined over this I don't know what I'm gonna do the girl in me is like girl do it over <laughs> like do it again get another board do it again I'm very anal you know, about stuff like that. But whatever. I'll just keep it pushing. Or I have the back. I have the back. No, forget it. It's okay. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's not that cereal for me. It's okay. It's okay. I'll figure it out. No, I mean, I'll figure it out. I'll put some leaves. In. I'll figure it out. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to pick up the rest of the vinyl tomorrow. And then I'll come home and I can finish that. Oh, Jesus. When I come, I'm about to go get something. Oh. <clears throat> Let me add her one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'll do that and I'll finish it tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just season, shine bright as a season.